which has Jake Hill aboard. Very experienced and super fast British touring car driver. Another car that we'll watch out. Let's listen on board with Jake. Yeah, lovely to be on what the time is. It's not quite going to be up there with the pace we've just seen from that Ford, but uh, 50.47 is still uh, extremely effective. Oh. So heading up the hill now is the Lotus. Uh, as it goes up, let's see how this does because the Formula One cars always have got great pace. Now, just to remind you, modern Formula One cars do not have the ability to go and do this particular run. But Nick Padmore in the Lotus Cosworth 77 here is going very quickly. 22.4 seconds on that early stint, 36.7. So in, in the ballpark, there's no doubt we've got Michael Lyons in. I'm not sure it's going to be quite as quick as Michael. Really pushing hard, though. Across the line he goes. Nick Padmore, 49.8. Tomorrow in the 231 Ferrari 296 Challenge. And uh, Ferrari Challenge, of course, is a, a major part of competition uh, in that group. And Andrew has done a pretty good stint so far, hasn't he? He's the fastest, first se fastest first sector of anyone that we've seen so far. And same with the middle sector. It is super close, though, so close between him and James. We'll have a look. This could be going up to the top of the times. No, 49.6, just lost a little bit in that final sector. No doubt about it. Now you're watching the Alpine Type Speed machine, and this is also. saw hopping across the grass, didn't we, yesterday out of the first corner, Ben, uh, in the practice. So managed to keep it on track so far as the Alpine storms up to cross the line. This is going to be close, Ben. Rafael Estel, 48-1-9. As James Wallace, he, he was the one that actually had a little spin, didn't he, earlier, Ben, at Vulcan Corner. But yeah, I think he is potentially one of the fastest here. So keep an eye on the Porsche, the 911 GT3 Cup car that is heading up the hill, James Wallace. Porsche Carrera Cup junior driver who's been oh, oh, right out to the grass there, but it was an excellent getaway. Uh, he's done that in five seconds flat, so that's the fastest sector that we have seen so far off the line. Yeah, and you're right, he did have a spin up here, but he's got it kept it clean, hasn't he? He has, he used a lot less inside grass, not curve, inside grass there than he did earlier on. And do you see how close he got to the inside hay bales there? He brushes up, did he? He has, he's knocked in the, the front right wing mirror there, Ben, so he, he must at some point, it was either the first brush of the hay bales or that second one that we just saw there, but straight to the top of the times, the 48 foot one, two seconds. Now, next up to go up is the Subaru Huckster, Travis Prastrana, and you'll see the active aerodynamics when he slams onto the brake, uh, when he does need to use the brake, that is. And uh, there you go, a good example of the Subaru there, but this will be another one that's going to contest. Oh, he gets out of shape at turn one, Ben. Fantastic, just look at the angle he goes to. He really throws himself. He's been twice runner-up at the Festival of Speed in the shootout, and he's really pushing on hard. But how are the sector times going? Well, he's certainly in the mix. That was a very good first sector time. He's in the mix, not quite as rapid on the second sector. Keep an eye on it. Let's see. Stay off that big wall. He does so, but he is pushing hard. And let's just see how it goes right up to the top. Eases off just a touch. The flaps come up when he breaks. A little bit more slowing. 
and into the final sector now. Across the line he comes, and Travis Pastrana, the time is 47.5. Yeah, so just missing out, slightly losing out. Now this is going to be a fun one. Michael Lyons, who is always very, very quick in historic classic racing, particularly with fast single-seaters. This is a Formula 5,000, 5 litre V8 powered Journey Eagle. And uh, let's see how the times are looking here. Pretty promising, aren't they? Yeah, it is. Michael, a very experienced historic racer. He goes Ooh. across the line and pinches the fastest time. What an effort from Michael. Now, this is one to really keep an eye on. Scott Speed, who was telling us about this. This Subaru WRX Project Midnight has been created for this event. Let's see if it's working. Slightly down at the moment compared to Roman Tuman, but it's not by much. In the middle sector, he's a tenth of a second off, so this is going to be so close, it's got to be so precise, you can see jumps on the brakes at the final turn, nice and tight to the inside, hey, Bale there, heads up the hill using every width of the track possible, comes across the line, Ben. Scott's going really across the line, and he does 45.15, my goodness, he's missed out by just a tenth and a half. Yeah, this super van is incredibly fast, and actually we've been keeping the keen eye on the times of when they've been up already in, in demonstrations on the hill today and I'm going to say that this has been the fastest time uh, of the day so far. The Ford electric supervan, Roman Dimas knows how to drive anything quickly and he's definitely going to put this van through its paces. And as you said, with the electric van you're riding on board, he had the fastest run from the start line to the first sector because that electric power, remember this is about 2,000 horsepower from the electric power in this Ford and he's doing fantastic little sectors at the moment. I think this is going to be the fastest time. Roman Dumas, who has won the Festival of Speed Sprint win in the past. Let's have a look across the line. He goes, yes, fastest of the day so far. 45.06, Roman Dumas sets a new target for everybody else.